So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to service this clutch, the variator clutch. Uh, same thing goes on uh, also with the uh, with the Dymobi clutch. So and uh, over time, what happens is the lovely little pads. Might be able to see a little glow on there, but there we go. They get shiny. When they get shiny and nice and smooth, they don't rip so good. So what you want to do is you want to just break up that glaze. You also, if you look inside the cover, this here is the rubbing surface, and that ends up getting a little bit dirty. And uh, sometimes there's uh, uh, some grease that's been smeared in there and that. So what you want to do is you want to clean that out too and uh, just get it a little rough. Then on the bell itself, this is the surface those little pads will rub against. So you want that to not have a shine either. You want that to be a little bit rough. Also on the, the clutch arms, uh, you want to have these a little bit rough so that when the arms come out, contact the inside of the cover, they're going to be nice and grippy. So, best thing I've found to do that is this lovely stuff, uh, plumber's, uh, plumber's tape, I don't know what else you call it. Um, the stuff uh, that uh, they used to use on copper pipes there to, to, uh, to scuff the ends of the pipe when you're uh, for when you're soldering them together, and uh, it's pretty handy stuff to have around the shop. You just cut a little piece of that. It's uh, what grid is it? A P320. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty medium-sized grit. <coughs> so. All we want to do is, you want to just go like that. Doesn't take long at all. That surface is just nice and nice and scratched now. I know most of us, if we knew it was so easy, we would have done it long ago. <laughs> there we go. That's all done for this, depending on how long it's been since you've been riding, or maybe it's just the bike you just got. So. trying to sand the heck out of it. You just want to scratch the surface. If you can see the scratches, that's deep enough. If there's any little uh, little pieces of uh, tarnish or anything, you can give that an extra bit of a scrub so that it's an even grip all the way around. one was pretty obvious where I started. If it's not very obvious where you started, what you can do, take out your very favorite Sharpie, which is put a stripe. And you know what? You start right after the stripe, and you keep going around. When you get back to the stripe, bing, bang, boom, and she disappears, then you know that you've done 100%. This, a little bit more of a pain in the bum to get to but it doesn't take very much effort to get the pads all scratched up anyway. There we go. Same on this side. There we go. And then the outer edge. To find a fresher piece. There we go. The outer edge.
Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the bum sometimes. But, you know, not everything's easy. There we go. Literally, that's all you have to do to service the clutch. While it's apart, make sure that the arms are very free to move, which they are. They feel a little bit stiff. What you want to do is, you want to reach in here with needle nose pliers. Unclip the springs. Okay, once the springs are unclipped, these guys should be able to just flop around all by themselves. And uh, if they're not that loose, you want to get a little bit of lube up in here. A little bit of lube up in here. And just work the arms back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until they're just so loose it's, it's incredible. And then you put the springs back on. Then what you want to do so that you don't get that grease flying off and getting onto your rubbing surfaces is you want to chase that out with your uh, with your brake cleaner so that there's zero lube in there but if you freed them up then they should still move even without the lube and that's uh, how you service the clutch